Welcome to BMI's registration tutorial. In this video, we'll look at the basic process for registering works online at BMI.com. Step 1. Head to BMI.com and log in to your online services account. After logging into BMI's online services, you will select Works Registration from the Applications menu. This will take you to this initial in-process works page. Click on Add New Work to register a new title. On this next page, you will select the account you want to add the new work to. It's possible you may have more than one account reflected in this section. If you have a writer account and own a publishing company, for example, you should see your publishing company in the dropdown. Here, we only have a writer account, so we will select that. If you're publishing another writer's work, you would select your publisher account. If you're not a classical composer, you will select All Other Genres and then click Next. The Add Basic Work Info dialog box will appear, and here you can add the title of your work, not the album title, and then you'll indicate whether the work contains music and lyrics or just music. This work contains both music and lyrics. Spoken word material that does not contain music cannot be registered with BMI. If you want to add an alternate title, you can do that as well. It's important to register any variations of the work title that may be used publicly. The duration field is optional. As you can see, required fields are indicated by a red asterisk. The work is in English, so that is all set, and we can click Next. On this page, you will indicate whether the work is an arrangement of a public domain work or a foreign lyric version of another existing work. You will also indicate if the work contains any samples or if the work is a medley. In this case, our work does not contain any sampled works and is not a medley. If your work does contain a sample or is a medley, you will need to seek permission and confirm new splits, if applicable, from the publisher of that work before you register your new work with BMI. Click Next. On this page, you will indicate if the work has a publisher. I'm going to click Yes. When I click Next, the Add Publisher dialog box appears, and you will input the required information. You'll type in your publisher's name. Here, I'm entering Johnny Rockstar Music. Next, we'll select Affiliation. The publisher PRO needs to match the writer's PRO unless the writer is a member of a non-U.S. society. For ownership, I'll select 100%, since I retain ownership under my company, Johnny Rockstar Music, and did not enter into an agreement with any other publisher. We'll look at adding in multiple publishers a little later in this video. And for collection, I'll also enter 100%, since I didn't enter into an agreement with an administrator to collect on my behalf. If you have an IPI number, it's recommended you add that in as well, as it will help to speed up the registration process. Please note that your IPI number is different from your BMI account number. If you do not know your IPI number, it can be obtained through the repertoire search section of BMI.com. I'll now click Next. The publisher needs to be associated with a writer, so we'll add the writer here. For the role, We'll select Composer and Author, since in this case, we have composed the music and written the lyrics. For writer share, I'll enter 100%. Since there are no additional writers, we will look at adding additional writers later in the video. For now, I'll click Next. Here, you can review the information you've just entered. BMI requires total publisher and writer shares to equal 200%. If you need to adjust any of the information, you can click on the Action tab and edit or delete the information, or add a U.S. sub-publisher or administrator. When you're happy everything is correct, go ahead and click Next. On this next page, a few additional questions. Are there any artists? We'll say yes. Are there any recordings? Again, we'll say yes. Final question. Was this work created for film, TV, theater, or a music library? We'll go ahead and say no. Then we'll click Next. The Add Artist dialog box will appear. If the work is being performed under an artist, you will fill in the last name and first name fields. If it is being performed under a band name, that name should be entered in the last name field, and first name should be left blank. For this example, 
we'll also add another artist, as our imaginary rocker also performs under the name Beyond Words. I'll click Next. And the Add Recording dialog box will appear. Here you will indicate the format, album, EP, or single. You'll include the recording title and then the release date. Then you'll indicate whether this recording was released by a record label. Here, I'll say no. I'll click on Next. The Next page allows you to review the information you just entered. If it all looks good, click Next. Otherwise, you again have the option to edit the information by clicking on the Action tab. This takes us to the Summary page. You again have an opportunity to review the information as well as make changes. If you are happy with everything, go ahead and read the terms and conditions, and if you agree, check the box at the bottom of the page. If you decide you don't want to submit the form right away, you can save the registration and submit it at a later time by clicking on the Save and Exit button at the top right of the page. Click OK. Now a great little trick for when you need to register a work similar to one that you previously submitted. You can do so by copying the attributes of a previously submitted work, and then go in and edit only the information that needs to be adjusted, saving you a lot of time. First, I'll click on the Action tab, and then select Copy. The Add Basic Work Info dialog box will appear, and you can go in and set the work title, work content, and duration as we did before. Now let's jump to the summary page, where I'll edit the publisher and writer information, since that is different for this song, while everything else remains the same. So I'll click on Edit. First, let's edit the publisher information. I'll click on the Action tab and select Edit. Then I'll adjust the ownership and collection shares to 50%, as I'll be adding an additional publisher. And I'll do that now. Back on the summary page, publishing splits add up to 100%. So we are good to go there. But we need to add another writer. So I'll add in a new writer with a share of 50%. Finally, we have to link this writer to a publishing entity. I can do that here with this drop-down menu. I'll check Tony Baloney Music and then click Save. Back on the summary page, you can see our writer share adds up to 150%. So I'll have to go in and adjust the first writer share. I'll change that by selecting Edit from the Action tab, and now I'll switch that share to 50%. And now I'll jump back to the summary page and make sure everything looks OK. If everything looks good, read the terms and conditions, and if you agree, check the box and submit, or save and exit if you choose to submit the registration at a later time. Once you submit the works, you will not be allowed to edit them any further using the online process. Once the work is registered, you'll have to email reviseworks at bmi.com in order to request any further updates to the registration. But let's go ahead and check these boxes and click the blue button, Submit All Selected Works. And there you have it. Look out for additional tutorial videos from BMI and you can always reach out to a BMI rep for further information.
Happy registering.